Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about limit and derivatives. Okay, so this is a new chapter that we gonna start today. Okay, so first we will discuss what is limits. Okay student, so let's say a function given to us as fx is equals to x square. Okay, and we need to check whether the limits exist at x equal 0 or not. So for this student, what we need to do is we need to check whether limit x tends to 0 minus means when we are coming from the left hand side of the 0 whether the function value is equals to limit x tends to 0 plus fx. So if these both these limits are equal then we can say that limit exists or you can say function is continuous. Okay. So if I draw the graph of fx equal x square so this is you can say either y or it is also like fx so this is the graph of y equal x square x square okay so now we need to check whether the left hand limit or right hand limit exists or not. So in, the, in this case it will exist student as this is clearly seen to us that the graph is continuous at this point. Okay. So let's say we take one another example when fx is defined as 1 or 2 when x less than equal 0 and when x greater than 0. So in the case when x is less than equals to 0 so let me draw the graph of this function. So function is 1 when x is less than or equals to 0. So this is the function on the left hand side and when x is greater than 0 it is 2. So here it is open so this is y, this is your x and this point is 1, this point is 2 ok or you can say 0, 0,2 or it is 0, 0,1 so function is exist at this point 0 but at point greater than 0 it is not existing so when we check the limit of function x tends to 0 minus fx this is equals to 1 and if I am coming from the RHS 0 plus fx will be 2. So now I can say that left hand limit and right hand limits are different. Hence we say that the limit of fx limit of fx at x tends to 0 does not exist. Okay. So if these are equal then we can say that the limit exists and if they are not equal then we can say that limit does not exist ok so this is all about student how to check the limit whether exist or not ok so now let's do a question so students here is the question given to us in which we need to find out the limit x tends to 1 fx and fx is given to us as x square plus x ok so now I am drawing a table in which I will find the different values of fx at given x this is x or you can say this is fx and this is x so if I put x equal 0.9 the function takes the value 0.81 plus 0.9 it is okay 
0.9971. At point 0.99, the function takes 1.9701. Point 0.999 so the value will become more closer to 1, 2 now. Okay, at 1.01, 1 .01, the value will become 2.0301 at 1.1 1 .1, the value will become 2.31 okay so as you can see students as the function is approaching near to 1 the value is approaching near to 2 so now I can say that limit x tends to 1 negative effects is equals to limit x tends to 1 positive is equals to limit x tends to 1 fx is equals to 2 okay that you can also see from the graph okay here is 0 here is minus 1 1 2 so if I put minus 1 in this equation the y will become 0 and at 0 it is also 0 so this is the plot or this is the graph of the function y equal f of x okay student so now we can clearly say that the limit of the function at x equal to 1 exists and it is equals to 2 okay so this is how we need to find out the limits at both the ends means from at negative end at positive end if they are both equal then we can directly say that the limit exists okay so now i hope students you are pretty clear about what we have discussed till now okay and in the next lecture student we will discuss about limits of polynomial and rational function so stay tuned for that lecture on limits of polynomial and rational function thank you happy learning